There you go. Um, hey everyone, my name's Carmen. I'm um, typically a JS dev, so if you're wondering why I'm here, um, blame Kimberly, so I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm just kidding, Kimberly's great. So um, just a little bit of background on why I wanted to give this talk. Um, I mentioned that I'm mostly JS. I've been really interested in learning more about like server-side services, and C Sharp is really popular. And so I was like, okay, that seems like something I should learn. But you may notice that I'm on a Mac, and I'm like, oh gosh, how's this even going to work? So um, I have kind of what might be an irrational fear of breaking my Mac, but um, less so of breaking my Raspberry Pi. So um, logic there was, well, I'll just do this on my Raspberry Pi, and if I ruin that somehow because I'm terrible, then no big deal. So um, this is my journey to start developing on a Raspberry Pi, and it actually did only take about five minutes. So let's get started. Um, I already told you guys who I am, but if you think I'm funny, you should follow me on Twitter. Um, okay, so the first step is SSHing into your Raspberry Pi. That was um, like one of the first things I set up when I got it anyway, so that was pretty easy. Um, if you have questions about that, come see me after, because it's not in here. Um, so, once you're SSH'd in there, you install Mono. Um, those are the commands to install Mono. Um, I don't actually think that you need this runtime one, because when I first did it with just runtime, it didn't work. But when I installed Mono Complete, it did. So, I think that that's the one that you need. But since those were the ones that I installed, I'll tell you all of them. Um, write your program. You guys are going to blow me out of the water with that, so I'm not going to talk about that very much. But um, what I ended up doing was um, obviously a super simple Hello World program. Um, I ended up using Nano. So it was really just SSHing into the Raspberry Pi, installing Mono, and then creating files and using Nano to edit them. So if you're thinking that that sounds terrible, you are right. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit in a second. So once you already have your file, it's very easy to build out your exe. You just use this mcs command, and it outputs an exe, and you run it. And so, because I know you guys are all dying to see this, let's, uh, can you guys see that? Let me make that bigger. Is that better? Yeah? OK. Um, so please excuse the name of my folder. <laughs> So um, you see that there are two. There's that hello world CS file and then the exe. So if we do, what was that command again? Yeah, it was mono. So if we do mono hello world exe, hello world. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, I don't know how long it's been, but I know it's been less than five minutes. Um, and literally, that was about how long it took. So if you are like me and you're like, the idea of trying to write anything in Nano sounds terrible. Um, there is another way. So um, it says another computer, um, another, yeah, so another computer. So basically, if you're like thinking that the talk before mine about Visual Studio Code was pretty sweet, I'm looking for you, but I lost you, sorry. Um, anyway, um, if you're thinking that sounds pretty sweet, I actually have Visual Studio Code on my computer, so you can get all the fancy syntax highlighting and run it, and then use this scp command to move it from this computer, from the Mac or whatever computer you're using, to, you notice this says remote, to whatever remote location you want to move it to. So it doesn't have to be terrible writing it in Nano. And yeah, that's it. So I think I hit the five minute mark. Yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead. I will try to answer them. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm like speaking bash to you guys. Um, so um, SCP, Nano, um, so um, is anybody familiar with bash? Cool, so um, thanks so much for asking that. I'm just like assuming. Um, so Nano is a built-in um, text editor. It, I don't know if it's, it's kind of like Vim or Emacs, but like way easier, and it's built into bash. So um, if you wanted to, I can actually show you really fast. If you wanted to say edit the hello world, we would just do nano and then file name. It's gonna open this up. And if we wanted to say instead of that, 
we do, I'm sorry if I spell your name wrong. Don't at me. And then we're gonna do um, control X. Do we wanna save it? Yes, we do. Enter, that kicks us back out. So we'll run it again. No, why didn't it save? Oh, thank you guys. You guys are the best. See, JavaScript, you don't have to do these things. It just works. <laughs> so now we'll run it. There we go. Yay. Thanks, guys.